Okay, guys, it is January 22nd, and we only have two calls left. I, I cannot believe how quickly this time has gone. Um, I'm going to start tonight with kind of a, a state of the union. Um, I'm, I've heard from lots of you that you're not where you want to be. Uh, those of you that are on camera, raise your hand if you're not where you want to be for the 20 and 30 so far. Okay. Probably 100% of us. All right, so we have one more thing in common. So, you know, I, I, I want to address that because I don't want anyone to feel like you're the only one having issues or struggling because when we set big goals like this, and enrolling 20 people in 30 days is a massive, massive goal. And, you know, if we get anyone to do that, First of all, it's, it's an absolute huge accomplishment, but our goal in doing this with you was not that all of you would get 20 enrollments. Of course, we wanted you to try, but we wanted growth for you. Our goal for you was for you to see growth in your business during this 30-day period. So that's what I want to know. Raise your hand if you feel like you have come out of your comfort zone and you've grown at all in this 30 days. Okay, so pretty much all the same hands are going up. Okay, so we are not a failure if we're in growth, and we're going to continue to grow, and we still have nine days left, and, and we're going to talk about that tonight. So tonight we want to really, we want you to go within yourself to motivate yourself for the last nine days. You know, find your own motivation. Why do you want to enroll 20 people. And if not this month, moving into now our 90 day action plan, why do you want to enroll 20 new people? Most of us, because we want some new people to work with. We want the new class of 2018, like Eric Worre talks about. Some of us have people we've been dragging along forever, and that's exhausting. And some of us, you know, I have a ton of really great, great people that I'm fortunate to work with, but we all have people that, you know, we maybe uh, have uh, more belief in them than they have in themselves. Uh, we want it more for them than they want it for themselves. So by bringing some new fresh people in, it can really liven up our businesses. So that's why we need to find the motivation to finish strong. And that's what we're gonna talk to you guys tonight about is finishing strong. Um, and then accountability, keeping yourself accountable. You know, we, we set this goal and we do not want anyone giving up on it. Even if you feel like there is no way on earth you can get 20 people in 30 days, we want you going for it and not giving up because everything you're doing now is planting seeds for the next 90 days, which we're, we're now working into is our 90 day action plan. So we want you guys to keep your spirits up, keep yourself motivated, find that motivation from within and hold yourselves accountable to your goals. And I'm going to um, first ask um, Val to unmute. And I want, I want to share a story with you because Val had a pretty, pretty good excuses to uh, give up and call it quits, didn't you, Val? I did, yeah. Share your story with everyone because I think they'll be able to relate and hopefully it will inspire them. Okay. Well, it's all about motivation. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do with my story. So first of all, just like Cindy said, we are at a point in this challenge where we have more days in than we have left. And so if we aren't where we would like to be or where we think we should be, it is easy to say, oh, forget it. I'm, I'm just going to give up. And, you know, when we started this, it was, there was so much on preparation. And we talked so much about preparing and even if we went through all those stages of preparation and we had everything exactly how we thought it was supposed to be and how it was going to be, chances are it didn't turn out like that. So um, I have just looked at myself. I am trying to, um, I'm tired. I have done a lot more than I normally would. And even though I am tired, it's such a great feeling because I just feel like I'm accomplishing so much. Am I anywhere near my 20 enrollments? No. Um, but I am, I'm learning how to really, you know, for years I've said I fit this in the pockets of my life. This month I have really fit it in the pockets and I've been so intentional. So I have one daughter that's engaged and I'm trying to help plan a wedding. I have another one that just purchased their first home. So we're trying to get that in, move in ready. I have another one that plays high school basketball. Um, I've had a back injury, you know, so I do have all these things going on in my life. But what I've realized is if I say I'm going to do this part-time and in the pockets, then I need to follow through, and I've been able to do that. So this week, um, just to share my personal experience with you, I followed up or met with 11 people from last Monday to Sunday evening, and zero of them enrolled. 
And so this morning I woke up and I had a conversation with someone and she was ready to go. Um, later on today, I had another conversation and they were ready to go. So my, my point by telling you all of this is what if I would have given up and I would have gotten discouraged after number eight or nine or 10? So it, it was number 12 and number 13 a week later that decided to go ahead and join me in this. So we say all the time that it's a numbers game. Please believe it. It is a numbers game and you just don't want to give up. And I know when um, we do a challenge like this and we put a time limit on, we do get a little bit antsy when we're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. But when you really think about it, you're not running out of time. You are doing exactly what um, Cindy talked about in the very beginning. You are setting yourself up for some magic to happen in the months and maybe even years to come. So um, I just encourage you guys. I know that I, I feel like for those of you that may not, you know, I've been in it five and a half years now and I feel like in the beginning I might have have not um, been able to like find that motivation deep within to keep on going so it is easy to get discouraged so if you don't have an accountability partner make sure that you comment um, on this video make sure you let us know what's going on so that we can lift you up and help you finish strong, strong and race to the finish so we love you guys and we're so proud of you it doesn't matter if you've gotten one enrollment or 20 but keep going for that 20. Look at all these um, football games that have had crazy endings. So wouldn't you love to be that person that we talked about next week that went from like four enrollments to 20 in one week? You can do it. Be that person. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And, you know, keep in mind, guys, we have January Jolt and there's money on the table. And I saw a great post. I think it was an Isogenics business today where someone said, um, they, uh, someone was asking, or a leader was asking, how do I handle the people that are complaining that the holiday bonus pool has been taken away? And I've had a lot of people come to me upset about that too. And someone said, oh my gosh, if they just do the January jolt and enroll five people, there's their crystal manager bonus. If they just enroll 10 people, there's their executive bonus. So it's just a way to look at things. And you guys hear us talk about mindset all the time. Susan's going to um, close us out at the end of this with some mind, mindset talk too. And it's really how you look at things. So you can look at this like, oh my gosh, 22 days and I don't have near the amount of enrollments I have. Or you can look at this like, I've got nine days left. Let's go for it. And that's what we really want to encourage you guys to do. All right, I'm going to have Polly um, mute, unmute herself now, and Polly's going to share with you another kind of positive spin and way to look at things, what she shared with us today. So go ahead, Polly. All right. Um, so I was kind of thinking myself that I have not gotten the enrollments I wanted to get, and you know, they always put in these um, incentives, isogenics, and I love them. They really, you know, kind of get me going, and I love reaching those goals. Um, so I started thinking about not getting the enrollments I wanted, and I decided to make a list of all the other things I've gotten in the past 22 days that don't include enrollments. Um, all the things that I have gotten out of this 20 and 30 myself that don't include enrollments. So I'm going to challenge all of you, and um, you can take a picture of it and post it, or you can just keep it to yourself um, in our 20 and 30 group underneath this recording. But I'm going to challenge all of you to do the same thing make a list of all the things that you have gained through this without in not including enrollments so for me on my list um, i added people to my list that i didn't even think about before um, just by kind of going through and looking at their interests or looking at their pages and commenting um, i'm way more comfortable talking to people about my story or about isogenics. I've practiced it so much this month that even though a lot of people haven't jumped on, I'm more comfortable with that. Um, I know my story better. I'm better at handling objectives. Um, doing all of the, talking to all of you about objectives on that one call in here really internalized it for me. Um, so I encourage all of you to talk to some of your people about objectives too, because I'm, I'm a teacher. So um, I always would teach my students that the best way to learn something is to teach others. So I encourage you to teach your team about objectives because you really start internalizing it. Objectives um, or objections? Objections, sorry. <laughs> objectives <laughs> too, but yes. <laughs> um, I learned how to delegate a lot of things to my family, so that's a plus in my book. Um, I learned, I taught some new teammates that um, I kind of reached out to how to do some things that I never would have reached out to before. 
Um, I found new interests with some friends on Facebook um, that I didn't know I had before because I was more intentional about going on their pages and really authentically commenting. And I learned that we had some things in common and I made some new connections. Um, I also had somebody today, I sent, I've sent a lot of messages to people and I had somebody today who messaged me back and said, I am not ready right now, but please keep reaching out to me. So, um, you know, those kinds of messages are awesome. And I'm going to post a link. I don't know if everybody has seen it, but um, if you haven't, I'm going to post a link below this recording with um, something that Eden Slobin shared, Nice Genics Business. Um, and she, and I say this all the time, people want to see that some people need to see that this is not bad for you or they're ready to jump on. So I've had a lot of people jump on after two years because they've watched me and they're like, oh, she's still doing that stuff. She must really like it. It's not just some crazy thing. Um, or they watch me on Facebook and they, they see my lifestyle and they're like, you know, she really is authentic with what she's talking about. Um, so Eden Slobin shared something about she and Zach and their journey and how they think of things. So I'll share the link underneath the recording in here for people to watch because it's a really awesome one. And that's it. That's fabulous. And um, I wrote in the comments, you know, this doing this group, you, uh, what, like Polly was saying, when you when you teach it to other people, it really does hold you more accountable. And, you know, I would never ask you guys to do something I wasn't willing to do. So I've been um, going to well, I went to one network meeting, I'm signed up for two or three more. Now, I went to a coffee shop and picked up business cards from complete strangers. I met with three strangers on Friday, all of which I see a future with. I, I mean, it's not an immediate thing, but I'm planting those seeds. And these were things like contacting a complete stranger from a business card, a little out of my comfort zone, you know, so I just I did it. And when I met with these people, I had a little goodie bag for them um, with a shake in it, a little clear bag, my business card, a, um, a nice agenic um, solution uh, brochure. They were so excited to get this little gift from me because their businesses, um, you know, they, they don't have products like that. So they were thrilled to get a little gift and I know it's going to go somewhere. We're all Facebook friends now. They're watching me and commenting on my posts. So doing these things, these activities and the, all the things we've done in preparation for this 30 days is really setting you guys up for great things to come. So, all right, I'm going to have Susan um, come forward next and Susan's going to talk a little bit about really these last nine days and, and what you can do with them. So go ahead, Susan. Thanks. You know, great stuff, Val and Polly. I really appreciate it. I can't see Polly anymore. I know she's somewhere. Anyway, um, but thank you for those tips. That's great. And I just love how Polly sees how she stepped out of her comfort zone and and the, got the positive out of it. So as always, I, I love to compare everything I do to a marathon because I think everything is a marathon, right? Our, I, I do a training occasionally at Super Saturdays. I call it the marathon mindset. And this is no different because what we were trying to do here is in 30 days enroll 20 people, right? And, and, you know, we kind of thought like, oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Just like when I say, yeah, I'm going to run 26 Point two miles in you know four hours. It's like oh that's crazy. And how many times have I gotten to a point in a marathon where I have realized that I'm not gonna hit my goal? Okay, I have a time. I run every marathon with a, an idea, a, a goal. How how long is it gonna take me to do this? And there comes a point in a marathon when you can read your body and you know it's not going to happen. I mean, you're, you're not only praying to get to the finish line, you're just praying to live, you know? So I just want to encourage everyone here that, to remember that, but, but the one thing I don't do is when I get to that point and realize that I'm not going to hit my goal, I don't quit. I keep going and I finish. So, you know, we have 65 people on. I know not everybody gets on the call, but I remember our first week was maxed out and, you know, you kind of see the decline going. Um, I know uh, Katie and Carly had separate, you know, um, screens and now we made them be in the same screen, which is great. That saved us a spot. <laughs> but, but seriously, people, 
they start to, um, you know, we start to fade. But the important thing is, is after this call, we're going to be getting on, we're starting our um, 90 day action plan. A is for action. <laughs> and um, they used to call it a game plan and they changed it to action plan. So sometimes we still slip up and call it a, a game plan. But uh, it's not, not a game, guys. It's about being in action. And it's important that what, remember, everything we're doing here, call this the warm up, right? We, we got more intentional. We grew our lists. We talked to more people. There is money on the table. Go and get it, okay? Don't, don't stop. Don't settle. Um, you know, I see someone wearing a Jaguars hat, but, you know, the Patriots came back yesterday. They did, you know. <laughs> oh, it's Eagles. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw the I saw the AG, and I was like, oh, she must be a Jaguar. Okay, so we'll see you at the Super Bowl. Um, but anyway, you know, th things happen, so you you can't stop. And we're going on. <laughs> There's Katie. She's got to get her belly in there and her Patriots hat. Um, we've got to keep going because this is this is a business where you can change more lives, including your own, it, it, it is absolutely incredible. And there is, in my mind, there is no ending point. This year, I'm going to max out the comp plan, okay? That's my goal. And I'm not gonna slow down. I'm going for it. And whether they have money on the table or we're doing a 20 and 30 or have a 90 day plan, I'm not quitting. And you've got to kind of get that. And there's a couple things that I just want to read to you um, here. To, uh, two things. Um, okay, so there's a statistic that says only 5% of people who sign up for something like a course or a seminar actually do anything with it. And even, and this is including very, very high priced somethings, not just something at the community college because lots of people wish for change and they really, really want it. But they're not, and they're willing to invest time and money into it, but ultimately they're not willing to get uncomfortable enough to actually make things happen. And I want you to think about that. You know, I've, uh, I've hired coaches, you know, I've spent $500 an hour to coach. I've, I, I've spent a lot of money going to conferences and, and trainings, and I've bought a lot of books, and you can't just have these things and not make an effort. So right now, I just think that I'm so proud of everybody that's here and sticking it out, because here we are in the home stretch of this. But this is the beginning of something big, you guys. And, and this is what, how I want to finish here. Um, hang high, right? Hang out with the people who are kicking ass and will make you feel like a giant loser if you're not kicking ass too. And I'm serious because this is true. If we live, if we hang out with people who are meeting their challenges with a step aside suckers attitude, who are dating super awesome people or making exactly the kind of money they want to be making, taking the kind of vacations they want and you want to be taking, you'll only see what's possible and follow suit. We are not here to hang out with people that are, we don't want to be the best person in the room, right? We want to hang out with the movers and shakers. And I talk about energy and plugging in and that you guys are plugged in here to be inspired, inspire each other. Just keep going. If you're not part of the 90 day action plan because you're burned out from the 20 and 30, don't stop. Don't quit. I'm going for the whole year. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And um, I saw what Polly just wrote, focus on even more conversations in the next nine days. So, you know, for, for you know, all of us that are maybe not where we want to be with the 20 and 30, 
with the next nine days, let's just, you know, commit to having it more conversations in these last nine days than we did in the first 22. And that's what it is. When Val was saying it's a numbers game, it's a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more people you'll, you'll, and you share your story with, the more you'll have the opportunity to enroll them. We've got a ton of Facebook lives going on, guys. If you do not have an upline leader that is doing a Facebook live and you want to be invited to one, um, I'm going to post this video. Comment below and I will get you added to one. I'm doing three tomorrow night for, diff for different people. So I will add you to one. But get, get, get doing activities like Facebook events where you're inviting prospects to them, belly-to-belly -belly meetings, calls, whatever you need to do these next nine days. It is time to like put your, your foot on that gas harder than you did for the first 22 because our goal for you is that if nothing else, you get $200 out of this. If nothing else, you'll get your pibs, your double pibs, and $200 for the first level. Um, also, Kristen um, Landry from Corporate, told me that for every person who has done the January Jolt and has received, you know, has enrolled 12 people, once they get past that to the 13th, she's got something for every single person who does that. And it sounds like it might be something good. So I want you guys shooting for it. Shoot for it, shoot for it. Still aim for 20. I still have my 20 enrollment. I don't think you can see. It's very bright. But a little sticky note that says 20 enrollments right in front of me. I'm way off from 20 enrollments. I did so much enrolling um, before for the championship challenge that my January has been off to a very dry start. I've got my work cut out for me, but I'm committed. So that's what we want from you guys. Be committed. And like Susan said, this is just the start. Next call, those of you that, and you know, everybody can be doing the 90 day action plan. It's in our business page. We're not doing a separate group. So it's in ISA for Wealth. Whether you're prepared, whether you've printed it off, whether you were at New Year's kickoff and got it, we want you to get off this call and get on that call because Molly Johnson is joining us with um, Growth U from Rod Hairston's uh, company. And she's going to give us another shot in the arm with some more mindset that I really think will help you guys end January really strong and move into this 90 day action plan on a really great note. So thank you guys. There was one more question I wanted to, um, to take. January jolt is over February 4th. That's correct, Jackie. Um, Oh, there was one more thing I saw. Um, someone asked me, Maria asked me, when you meet with these people, did you feel obligated to buy their products? No, I did not. Um, I did not actually meet with uh, direct sellers. These people were not direct sellers. I met with two IT people that do uh, web design and different IT things. Um, they do social, lots of social media stuff. And then um, I met with someone that does mortgages um, but no and and you know it's just really to to connect with other people and ask for referrals and so when when they're talking to people if they and I let them know what I do and I say you know if not for you if you hear of someone that is interested in weight loss energy performance healthy aging or if you know any entrepreneurial people that might like to make a little extra money, think of me. Hand I put a couple extra cards in their, um, in their little goodie bag. Think of me and, and share my card. Just a great way to get referrals. But no, I don't feel obligated to buy anything, but that's a great question. So hopefully you guys are a little bit motivated to get off this call and finish January off strong because we really want you guys to get some of this cash that is just sitting there waiting for you. And we really want you guys to kick off off your 90 day action plans and like Sue said don't don't quit we're just getting started so all the legwork and all the prep work you guys have done for this is going to pay off believe it know that it will happen for you have a great strong mindset and finish strong all right all right guys I'm gonna unmute the lines so everybody could say, say. Oh, stop recording